Hello everyone, my name is Tyler and welcome to Quarantine Kickboxing. For class number one, we're going to start off slow. We're going to go over how everything works, all the different movements, and some of our basic combos. And as we advance in this class, we're going to get tougher and tougher and tougher as we go on. So let's start with our basic warm-up. If you've got yourself a pair of gloves, go ahead and grab those. I've got my UFC fighting style gloves. Um, if you don't have any gloves, that's perfectly fine. We're not going to be hitting anything. It's just going to be all air punches. So let's do some marching. Get those legs warmed up. Get moving. We're also going to be involving, of course, as it being kickboxing, some kicking. We're going to start off without much kicking. Um, and then we're going to start adding it into our combos as we advance once we get used to the punching combinations and the movements. If you'd like to, let's get our arms involved. Excellent, let's do some bigger steps, a little bit slower. And let's try to involve our arms here as well. Let's lift up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep those arms straight, as straight as possible. There's four, three, two, and one. Excellent, good work. Let's work our calf muscles just a little bit, warm them up, do some heel raises, lift up on your toes, activate your calf muscles. Couple more here. Excellent, good work. Let's work our hips a little bit. Two legs, step out, come back together. Make sure you step out, your knees and feet are as close to a line as possible. Don't let your feet way out here. That puts extra pressure on your knees. Step in, step out. Start off slow. If you want to involve your arms, arms together, arms out. Let's try to speed it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Relax down. Let's do some arm circles. Arms on the side. Get our shoulders warmed up. Another direction. Excellent. Arms down. Let's do some normal shoulder circles. Let's go the other direction. Excellent, good work. Let's give ourselves some hugs. So give yourself a hug, open up your arms as far as you can, stretch your chest, and then switch which arm goes on top every single time. This is really good for loosening up your shoulders, arms, chest, everything upper body. This is fantastic for you. Good way to relax yourself if you're doing a hard workout. You need to cool down for a second, give yourself some hugs.
Couple more. Excellent, good work. Let's start with our leg, we're going to do our kicks, and we're going to go through every single one of our punches, and then we're going to end with some combinations. So let's start with the kicks. We're going to start with a forward kick. Leg up, pressing the foot out, bring the leg back. If you'd like to, place your foot on the ground, and kick. There's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Switch sides, same thing. Kick out in front. Again, if you want to, place your foot in the ground, kick. If you can, hold your leg up in there the whole time. There's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Leg down. We're going to go into our side kicks. For this one, sit up tall, shoulders back. You can just kick out to the side, or if you can, arms up, lean, and kick out to the side. Whatever you are able to do. So lean here on the side, stand tall, kick to the side. Go ahead and choose the modification that feels best for you, and get started. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, good work. We're going to switch sides again. Keeping tall, kicking to the side. If you can, lean and kick away. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, good work. Sit up, sit tall. We're going to move to our upper body. We're going to start with our punches. We got four different kinds jab, cross, hook, undercut. We're going to start with our jab, right arm, nice and slow. Make sure your hands are up the whole time. That way you're defending yourself. Always defend, palm facing towards you. Rotating your palm, so now it's facing the ground, out front, and don't snap your elbow on this one. Make sure that your arm is slightly bent. This is our jab. One, two, don't ten, three, keep going. There's eight, nine, ten, excellent. Keep those hands up, switch sides. Try to involve your hips. Rotate your, tighten your core, rotate your torso, involve your hips. All your power from your punches is going to come from your hips, not your shoulders. There's four, three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to go to our cross. Same thing as a jab, but instead of going straight out, we're now going across the body, involving more hips. Make sure you're rotating those hips. There's three, two, one. Excellent. Keep those hands up. Other side. There's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Good work. We're going to go to our hook now. So around the side, still blocking the face and using the hips. We got five, four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Same thing. Use the hips, come around. Three, two, one. Excellent. Great work. Keep those gloves up. Keep blocking your face. We're going to move to our undercut now. So come down. Swing up in front of you. Keep those hips involved. Keep those hands up. Here's five, four, three, two, 
One, excellent. Switch sides, same thing. Get those hips involved. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Great work. Put your hands down for a second. Take a break. If any time during this class you need an extended break, please hit pause and then continue when you are ready. If your shoulders get tired from keeping your hands up the whole time, it's okay. Take a break for a second. Bring your hands up. You can still punch down here. That's perfectly fine instead of having your hands up here. Whatever you need to do to keep those shoulders from hurting too much. I don't want to overwork your shoulders on this one. We're going to move into our first set of combos. Now that we've got a basic idea of all the different punches we're going to be doing, let's start with a right jab, left cross. So jab, twist the body, cross. Jab, cross. It's five, we're going for ten. Get those hips involved. Keep those gloves up. There's three, two, one. Excellent. Great work. Now we're going to switch sides. Jab with the left, cross with the right. Get those hips involved. Keep the gloves up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Great work. You're doing good. Let's continue. Let's keep going with our combinations. We're going to add in a new move. It's going to be a jab with the right, hook with the left. Keep those gloves up. Get the hips involved. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Switch sides. Left jab, right hook. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Bring the arms down. Take a break for a second. Great job, everyone. These combinations are not easy. It's great for coordination, though. You are doing fantastic. Let's keep moving with our combos. Our next one we're going to do is we're going to do a jab and an uppercut combined. We're going to go back to where we started with the basic combos, and then we are going to speed them up. Gloves up. We're going to do a right, left undercut. Right, left undercut. Get those hips involved. Keep the gloves up. There's four. Three, two, one. Good work. We're going to do a left jab, right hook. Try to mess you up here a little bit. Left jab, right hook. Get those hips involved. Keep the gloves up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Left jab, right uppercut. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Relax the arms down again. Take a break. Great job, everyone. Doing good. Hopefully you're starting to break a sweat a little bit, shoulders are getting a little tired, you're working hard, your, your coordination's getting better, the more we go, you're figuring out the rhythm. Let's go back to our first movement. We're going to do our right jab, left cross. This time we're going to go slow for the first five, the last five we're going to speed it up. Here we go, jab, cross. Get those hips involved, keep the gloves up. It's three, four. Five. Now we speed it up. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Four, five. Excellent. Switch sides. Left jab, right cross. A little bit slow. Get those hips involved. Three, four, five. Good. Now we speed it up. Jab, cross. Three, four, five. Excellent. Good work. Let's go to our hooks. Right jab, 
Left hook, slow at first. Three, four, five. Excellent, speed it up. Jab hook, jab hook. Three, four, five. Great work, switch sides. Jab, hook. Left jab, right hook. Three, four, five, and speed up. Jab, hook. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. Let's go to our undercuts. Right jab, left undercut. Three, four, five. And faster. Jab, undercut. Three, four, five. Excellent. Switch sides. Jab, undercut. Three, four, five. Let's go faster on those uppercuts. Here we go. Jab, undercut. Uppercut. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. Bring the arms down. Take a break for a second. Great job, everyone. Let's go into a finishing big combo. This one, we're going to involve a new move. We're going to do some dodging. Dodging, I want those gloves up, and you have a couple options on dodging. You can lean side to side, or you can duck under and under. Again, that's side to side, or under and under, whatever you prefer. We're going to do a jab with the right, cross with the left, gloves back, dodge. Here we go. Jab, cross, dodge. Again, choose the modification for dodge that you like, whether it be the side to side lean or the under, under. Keep moving. Keep those gloves up. There's three, two, one. Excellent. Great work, everyone. We're going to switch sides now. Left jab, right cross, dodge, dodge. Jab, cross, dodge, dodge. You can choose modification that feels best for you. those hips involved. Two more. One and two. Excellent. Great work everyone. Good job. That is what we have today for number one. We're going to do some stretching and next time we do our second quarantine kickboxing. We're going to be going faster, involving some kicks, and we're going to be doing more repetitions. Let's do some stretching. Sit as far forward in the chair as you can. Lean back into your backrest. Take one leg, pull it into your chest. Excellent. Switch sides. Same thing. Take one leg. Pull it into your chest. Next time we do a quarantine kickboxing, we're also going to be involving more kicking as well into our combos. Now that we've got our punching pretty well down pat and we understand the different moves and the different combinations. Excellent. Sit back up. Let's do our hamstring calf stretch. Heel on the ground. Pull the toes back towards you. Sit up. Shoulders back. Chest up. Hinge forward at the hips. Excellent, sit back up, other heel on the ground, pull the toes back towards you, hinge forward at the hips. Excellent, and sit back up, let's do our hip stretch. 
I would remind her on the different modifications. You can either place your foot on top of your knee, holding this position here, our figure four position, or knee over knee and leaning forward, or crossing your ankles, pulling back, and leaning forward, whatever way you prefer. Go ahead and choose the modification that feels best for you, and hold this. Now this figure four position is not as difficult as you like to be, you like more of a stretch. Stay in this position and then hinge forward at the hips, even pressing down the knee a little bit is okay. That's going to stretch the piriformis muscle just a little bit more. Excellent, switch sides. Again, choose the modification of the three that feels best for you. And again, if you want more of a stretch in this position, hinging forward at the hips. Excellent, relax down. Let's do our upper body stretches, arm out in front, bring it across the body, pull it in. Excellent, switch sides, arm out in front, elbow straight, across the body, hug it in. down. Let's relax the shoulders a little bit more with a different form of stretching be more dynamic stretching. Open up your legs to have plenty of room down near the ground. Rest one form on your knee, other arm down to the ground, and do some circles. This is our pendulum shoulder relaxation movement. Try to let your arm relax. Don't force it around a circle. Let momentum take it. Really relax your shoulder. Let's go the other direction. Excellent. Switch sides. Rest the other forearm on the knee. Arm down to the ground and light circles. Let the arm go. The other direction. Excellent, sit back up. We got one more stretch, our bicep forearm stretch. Palm to the ceiling, pulling down on your fingertips. If you want more of a stretch from here, let your arm come up in the air a little bit. Excellent, switch sides, palm to the ceiling, pulling down on the fingertips. Excellent, and relax. Great work, everyone. Thank you for joining me for the first part of quarantine kickboxing. Uh, please keep your eyes open for any new videos that Savannah and I will be posting. Again, my name is Tyler. Thank you for joining me, and have a great rest of your day.